Recording. Yeah, we waiting on my bus. Got like uh, 15 minutes to talk to you. So me just got up the first bus. About to take my last bus. Niggas was all up in my mouth, man. I, I guess I was taking a sleep. You know, it's always the same bus drivers, you know. Mommy and Poppy, they be, whew, them niggas, it's crazy. Niggas, dent, they try to dental work my shit right now. Oh, because you stop smoking cigarettes, they try to, bro, just give it up, man. Y'all niggas got to give it up, man. Anyway, man, I'm walking the same path as I was walking yesterday. You know what I mean? You know it's a lot of hate when a nigga hit you and run. <laughs> they be mad, yo. Cause I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm taking the right steps in the right way, man. Feel me? I know it's crazy. When I started this, I knew it was going to be hard. Not the fact that it's not hard as in putting down the cigarette. It is hard cause every time when you're doing something right, you get all sorts of complaints. It seems like the moment where it's going to be too big for you to even move forward. Because it's not about the quitting of something. It's not about accomplishing something that was so uh, that was so hard to accomplish. It's the aftermath of it that made that's much harder. You feel me? And I wouldn't call this an accomplishment. I call it just, you know, doing something that you thought it was too hard for you to do. Not that if I have went through that journey, you feel me, of even making that happen. The hardest part is the criticism and just the demon level of it all, you feel me? People want you to go back to that because they, they was using you as an excuse for why they couldn't do it. Now you have raised the bar and you like, once you raise any form of bar that you raise, you feel me, it could be weights, it could be... Uh, some expectancy, it could be new level in your life, it could be anybody that raised the bar to a different level, it's just the pressure that comes with it is marvelous, like it's crazy you would think Whew, I just raised the bar, nah raising the bar is maintaining that bar, you feel me And you don't decrease when you raise the bar, nah, you actually it's much harder for you to stay at that level and raising that bar, then you got to raise it, and then you got to move up. You got to maintain it. Once you maintain it, it becomes a normal seat. When it becomes a normal seat, then you move on to the next bar that you got to raise, and it, it repeats itself again. It's a constant struggling of life, the, the tangling back and forth. I mean, it's a beautiful struggle, I might have to say, but who would have thought? Because the problem with me, I can only speak for me and me only, is that when I was smoking a cigarette, I wasn't really you. I was using the cigarette as a victory lab, like a sound of relief type shit like that. Now that you don't have that and you don't have no substitutes for that, it's like everything is just coming to me because I've never dealt with it like this in a long time. So guess what? It becomes brand new to you. You be like, what the fuck? What? I thought this shit was, like, I, I thought this was a relief. I'm, I'm thinking, like, okay, yeah, I'm doing good. Yeah, no, nah, it's not. Yeah, now you got to deal with things that maybe the cigarette was massing out. You feel me? Now you got, you can't deal, you just can't deal with the moose side. You just smoke and puff it out. Like, I guess that was the sound of, like, a relief. I guess you, you just take that time away from you. Now that you don't do the inhale and puff it out, what do you do with that time now that is free on that part that you have released, that you have occupied for yourself now? What do you do with those healthy times? You feel me? Things are going to fill in within that void. That void that is open, things are going to fill inside. And those are things that you got to deal with and make it a normalcy of you dealing with them without, when it comes to me, without the cigarettes and me just going and get a cigarette. From, but what do I do in between that time? You feel me? And there's going to be demons attacking you, people, you know. I don't know what they're trying to do with the teeth and everything else. I'm like, damn, nigga. I done smoked for like five years and I had no problems like that. Now y'all want to pull on my shit. It's like some 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 gay shit. These, like nobody believes that shit, man. This is why I've already promised to myself. If I ever catch somebody in the act of it, 
I would do them dirty. I got to kill them niggas, bro. It's not even going to be a second guessing. You feel me? And you can recall this all you want. But th I'm, I'll be defending myself. You feel me? Because I've been waiting so long to catch a nigga. So if I catch them, it's not going to be um, second guessing. You feel me? I'm sorry. And that's just for the record of it. Anyway, I don't care if it's a man or a woman. So just for the record. But once you let go of once i let go let me speak in terms of me once i let go of that uh act of cigarettes and everything else like that it was it was like damn okay cool now musa you gotta breathe in and breathe out type shit instead of inhaling and puffing out type shit so because i'm not going back to that i'm definitely not going back to that you feel me you can't get mad because i'm not going back to that me? And there's nothing that you can do to change my mind. If anything else, you're going to strengthen my opinion and strengthen my decision even more. You feel me? So I love it. So bring it. Bring it on. You know my slogan. Bring it. My pants is done tight. Of course, as usual. So even just quitting it too, I also have this... It's like... I'm just explaining the feeling of it all. Like when I when I stop quitting, right? It's almost like it's almost like it's a blank to it. It's more like I'm supposed to be doing this right now. I'm supposed to be holding something in my two two fingers right now, and it's supposed to be going on and puffing and puffing. So it's like it's almost like um, it's an act that's not being. It's like my body and emotion of it. It got so used to it. It's like all those requiring of it. At the same time, I don't know what to do with it. You understand? It's like it's a weird feeling. I don't even know how to put it in words. Sentence can only be an uh, understanding spirit. I got to let it marinate. Then it's going, when time is due, God will uh, put it out into words for me. Feel me? But, yeah, this is this is harder than I thought. I mean, I've done it before, but this this is harder than I thought. But I'm never gonna go back. Like I told them, doesn't matter what they do, they can never stress me out. You can try to take my sleep away. You can try to attack me. You can try to do all them shits you want to do. Slow down work, trying to agitate me and all that shit. None of that shit is gonna work. You feel me? It's just not going to work. You feel me? It's just not going to work. Cause I make the final decision, not you. You dig? Yeah, I just gotta get, just get, get it, get it through your monkey heads. You feel me? That boy got a flat tie. That's just a warm up. You know, they can't speak to me directly, so they gotta form all them forms of languages through the engines that they drive. <laughs> just to communicate with me in some form of fashion. Yeah, it's amazing what we create sometimes. Word up. But let me go across the street real quick. But that's that's something that, you know, I had to come into. It's a void that needs to be filled. But that void cannot be filled with something that's filthy or that the things that you used to do. It has to be filled with something right. Because once you replace something, I break away, break up. I've broken up with a bad behavior. And I want to fill it up with something that is better than previously. It's, you feel me? I'm trying to move forward with a decision that I've made. You feel me? So that's the hard part. It's like, you know, this is the point. I'm still I'm still on a breakup stage. You feel me? So me breaking away, me breaking up with the motion of grabbing a cigarette, lighting it up, buy, going to the store. This is all this is all motion and movement. You feel me? That it's an active movement that I used to do. To put a stop and a period to that, you feel me? Now what do I do with that time? Do I ignore it and just keep walking by that store, which I already do now? Because usually I go to a Pacific store or and go by a Pacific Pack, you feel me? If I, it's not in this store, I go to the next store. Now I'm walking by these stores trying to erase the memory of even having to go in there now. And I'm walking in there. I'm walking by, not going in there. I usually just go in there. Now nah, I'm not going in there. I'm not lightening up the cigarettes anymore, that motion of it. I'm not doing that anymore. What do I do when I, you're not replacing that feeling no more? You're not even replacing that action. You feel me? I'm going somewhere with it. I just wanted to paint a picture as I'm going along with it. So y'all can see the mindset of it all. You feel me? What do you do when you don't, like right now, if I was right here, I would be smoking, waiting on my bus right now. Perfect example. 
I'll literally be waiting right here, smoking, waiting on my buzz. Maybe I probably would have smoked like four sticks already. No, four, what do you call those things? I don't mean, Lucy's. <laughs> now, you see the behavior, you feel me? Once you stop, even the pronunciation of it, you, you forget what it's called now, you feel me? This is how you get rid of things. This is how you break up with things little by little, you know what I mean? You first gotta, you first gotta denounce it out of your being. Feel me? I know they're going to stress you out. You have to take on these responsibilities on your shoulders without the help of me wanting to smoke a cigarette or be like, oh, these mother I'm going to beat the shit out of this now. <laughs> it's not going to work. You feel me? Stop it, bro. It's easy to drive a bus and drive and keep riding. You protect by the law. Come on, stop it. Some of these niggas is protect, like they know if you they know if you touch them it's like what seven years? Come on man, let's stop this shit, man. Come on, be respectful. Like, you know what I mean? You got a uniform on. Act like one. You feel me? And I, it's like taking everything on the shoulder now. Now, first it went from me, have these people don't know no better. They don't know how to count. So they be counting me out. And I keep telling them y'all can't count, man. I see some of these niggas' English is like their fourth language, so I understand that. <laughs> I understand that because English is like my fourth language too, so I understand where they're coming from sometimes. It takes, it takes work. You got to really put pen to paper and do the calculations. I'm telling them niggas they can't count. They keep counting me out. Anyway, man. You feel me? I know niggas pray and pray on my downfall, but it's all so good, man. We building right now. We ain't even got time to second guess on ourselves. Anyway, we take we doing all the right decisions. We see the smoking. We not smoking anymore. I've already made that promise to myself, and it's just, it's going to stick. You feel me? Regardless of what storm comes along, you dig. So that being said, how do I maintain this attitude to the point where I forget that I even used to do it? You feel me? I know it's early in the stages. Don't get it twisted, but it's a commitment that you got to about to. Just like I was committed to going to that store every day after work and buying it, then when I was at this stop right now, this bus stop, I was committed to making sure I at least get like two smokes in. Then, of course, come on, go ahead. Very good. And just like, and just like when I was, um, just like when I got home, I was committed to making sure I had a pack in my uh, desk while I smoke and everything else. So what do you do? What do you do when you stop that action, that flow, consistency? They always talk about consistency. Oh, you have to be consistent. We can, you can be a, you can consistently, consistently be a fool. You feel me? We consistently do dumb shit every day. It's not about the consistency of things. It's about being aware of what you're consistently doing. Because we constantly doing something. Trust me. I'm constantly recording this video. That's a consistent. I constantly wake up every morning and brush my teeth and go to work just like everybody else and take a shower. We constantly do that. We constantly eating. Some of us constantly take a shit every day. We constantly take, like, you know, we constantly do things, but what are you, are you aware of your, the things that you do consistently? That's what I'm asking of you. You feel me? So me being aware now and me trying to get rid of the cigarette, which is something that I consistently did, you feel me? They just can't count. You can't count, my nigga. Just can't count, man. Forget about it. Know what I mean? Niggas is mad. They're still mad. Now the Chinese niggas mad at me. It's, they're over here. Let me show you right now. Poppy, Poppy, and Poppy and China man joining forces. They playing games right now, making it seem like how you gonna stop in the middle of the road? Like you, nigga, trying to get hit by a car, bro. <laughs> like there's a whole bus right here. Like bro, that y'all y'all doing too much, man. Stop it, man. I mean, like come on, man. There's somebody already in the car. Well, I never seen such a thing. Niggas don't do. Shit ride because Corona. So what are they doing? Come on, man. man this shit is fake as fuck. <laughs> and I know that's not your cousin, my nigga. Cause that nigga is pure Chinese, bro. 
he over there pointing like I need to go this direction. You was a lie. You ain't there. you ain't had to do all of that. You feel me? How did he know to stop for you? It's, it's the apps who tell him everything that he needs to know. Nigga taken away from the message. But yeah, be aware and be conscious of your consistency. So when I'm, I realized that, I, I realized for a while, but it just, I mean, being aware wasn't enough for me of my consistency. You feel me? I, I realized that I was consistently smoking cigarettes. Then I was also aware of how many times I was smoking a cigarette. But it was much harder for me to stop. But although I was conscious of this behavior, I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Like, I'm really, like, really smoking a lot. <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, I'm looking at it. I'm like, that financially, it's killing you buying lighters after lighters. Okay, what is going on with you? So I'm like, okay, why are you smoking so much? And when did you start smoking? So I just had to uh, do a brief history and record myself in my memory when I started. And I realized when I started, and I'm like, all right, man, it's time to stop. You don't have to do it. You just choose to do it because of convenience, you feel me? I wish you could see it here. They talk about student depth and all that. They always play that shit when I come on the bus. It never fails. It seems like that's the only commercial. Anyway, in the student's depot, but I pay all my student loans. If I do own one, it's probably like a hundred dollars. What under a thousand? Who can't pay that? I don't even own that. I already paid my shit, man. It's already paid for. Anyway, so I consistently <laughs> kept on telling myself. It went from. It went from a consistent behavior of keep, I kept on smoking, 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 to consistently telling myself why I'm smoking. Like, yo, I gotta quit. I gotta quit smoking. I, gotta, I kept on reminding myself, like I swear, it sounds crazy, but it's true. This was all a way for me to stop smoking because I had to consistently remind myself, what you're doing this period right now is wrong. That's what, this is how you stop the bad behavior by consistently telling yourself that you're wrong for what you're doing. You know that, right? I kept on... And these niggas, on my, they consistently on my dick. Like, that shit is amazing. And don't let me take into account that they they need to remind themselves just like I remind myself. This is how you remind yourself. What you're doing right now, you know you're wrong for it, right? And I kept on smoking. Like, I'm like, yeah, I gotta quit smoking. I can go... And I keep uh, right back the next day or sometimes the same day, I'm going to the store buying a whole pack. Then I'm like, damn, I got to quit smoking. This shit is, then I started admitting to myself. I was truthful to myself. And I told myself, this is harder than what I thought it was. You feel me? I, I did pray to God about it, but it's more like God will want you to be honest. When God yells action in your life, can't nobody, <laughs> can nobody yell. So I shout out to Nino Brown. But, you know, you get the notifications on your, on your phone. But I had to consistently tell myself and consistently be honest to myself about the things that I'm doing that is not good for me. And this particular subject, we're talking about the me stopping, me putting a stop to smoking cigarette for a while now. You feel me? We're not counting no more because we're not trying to go back to it. Ain't no anniversaries, none of that shit, man. We ain't planning for no 